Hello and welcome to our latest episode of, Advances in Medical Research. Today, we're going to be discussing a recent study that was published in the Lancet Neural Journal, titled, The Boston Criteria Version 2.0 for Cerebral Amyloid Angiopathy, a Multicenter, Retrospective, MRI Neuropathology Diagnostic Accuracy Study. Cerebral amyloid angiopathy is a condition in which amyloid protein, which is typically found in the brain's blood vessels, begins to build up and cause damage. This can lead to a number of symptoms, such as cognitive decline, memory loss, and even strokes. The Boston criteria, which have been in use since the 1990s, are a set of guidelines used to diagnose cerebral amyloid angiopathy. However, with new advancements in medical technology and imaging techniques, the criteria have been updated to version 2.0. This study was an international collaborative effort, with 10 North American and European academic medical centers participating, which aimed to update and externally validate the Boston Diagnostic Criteria across the full spectrum of clinical cerebral amyloid angiopathy presentations. The study used a retrospective analysis of clinical, radiological, and histopathological data to formulate updated Boston criteria and establish their diagnostic accuracy across different populations and clinical presentations. The study found that the updated criteria had a high level of diagnostic accuracy, with a sensitivity of 74.8% and a specificity of 84.6% in the derivation cohort, 92.5% and 89.5% in the temporal validation cohort, 80.2% and 81.5% in the geographical validation cohort, and 74.5% and 95.0% in patients who had autopsy as the diagnostic standard. This means that the criteria were able to correctly identify cerebral amyloid angiopathy in 74.8 to 92.5% of cases, and correctly rule out the condition in 84.6 to 95.0% of cases where it was not present. This is a significant finding, as it shows that the updated Boston criteria are a reliable and accurate tool for diagnosing cerebral amyloid angiopathy. This is important for both patients and doctors, as early diagnosis can lead to earlier treatment and better outcomes. It is worth noting that this study was retrospective in nature and the data was collected from a select group of academic medical centers, so further studies are needed to confirm these findings in other populations. In conclusion, the Boston Criteria version 2.0 for cerebral amyloid angiopathy is a reliable and accurate diagnostic tool for cerebral amyloid angiopathy. The criteria were able to correctly identify cerebral amyloid angiopathy in 74.8 to 92.5% of cases and correctly rule out the condition in 84.6 to 95.0% of cases where it was not present. With early diagnosis, patients can have earlier treatment and better outcomes. This study is a step forward in the field of cerebral amyloid angiopathy diagnosis, but further research is needed to confirm these findings in other populations. Thanks for watching. If you want to stay up to date with all of our latest videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Finally, we want to remind you that the information we provide on this channel is for educational purposes only. If you have any symptoms that you suspect may be related to a particular disease, it's important to see your doctor as soon as possible.